I can't believe ICOM tried to sneak this past us. Stick around. Let's talk about it. So I'm out here in the shed and I've got the brand new ICOM IC7300 Mark II. But what I've got actually is I've got it sitting side by side with the original ICOM IC7300. And I'll tell you what, guys, this is a great radio. Uh, I, there's a lot of great things about it. There is one thing that ICOM tried this, I think, slide underneath the rug. And, and I'm not sure why they did it, but we'll talk about that. But first, there's been uh, there's been some criticism. The display looks a little bit different. Well, there's a reason for that. And let's, uh, let's go over the bench and check it out. All right, down here on the bottom, we have the IC7300. And up here on top, we have the IC7300 Mark II. Now, you'll notice both radios have the 4.3-inch display on it. The slight difference is, is that the IC7300 has a TFT display, and the IC7300 Mark II has a color IPS display. Now, the color IPS display uh, has some better performance in it, although ICOM has not officially published any specifications yet uh, for the display in this radio. So we know in general that Color IPS has a better viewing angle, has better color display, richer colors, deeper blacks, brighter whites, and also it is a faster display so you can get better resolution in there. So if you look at the FT8 signals between the two radios, definitely you can see that there is less detail uh, in the IC7300 than there is in the IC7300 Mark II. Now, additionally, because the color IPS screens uh, are a bit brighter, it is also better for daytime use. Now, there's been criticism that the color doesn't look right. And I think when you're looking at the two of them side by side, and you're so used to seeing this shade of blue or this shade of white or this shade of red compared to that, yes, I, I agree. It does look different, but I think a casual observer or somebody looking at this for the first time isn't going to see a difference. Now, have you spotted the big thing that ICOM has tried to sneak in underneath the table here? And I'm just going to wait just a second. I'm sure you haven't. I think ICOM has committed the cardinal sin here. I don't know if they realize they did it or not, but they changed the font. If you look at the zeros, now, I don't think it's all the letters. I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's just the numbers. If you look at the font style on the frequency display between those two, that is different. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. So there's the primary differences in display of the IC7300 versus the IC7300 Mark II. What do you think about that? Let me know down in the comments section below. And how do you feel about ICOM changing the icon style? I'd like to thank the members who help support the channel. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please hit the join button down below. If you haven't done so already, down in the description is a link to my email list. Make sure you get signed up for it as that is your entry form into giveaways here on the channel. If you liked this content, please hit the like button, share this content with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And until we have an opportunity to meet on the air, I have a video right over here that you may be interested in.